everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Who Invited Her. Oh my gosh. We are San Diego's longest running LGBTQ pop culture podcast. I'm your host, Tony. I'm here with my other hosts. I'm Daddy Bear Eric. And I'm Brent. Yes. I'm Brent Rat. I'm here. And you We're guys, here. today. We're doing, oh my gosh. <laughs> We're right. actually live at AWOL for, we've been talking about it for like the last month, not stop, but for She Entertainment's one year anniversary party tonight. And we have Kim back on the show. Yeah. What's up, Kim? How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. Kim has the you. biggest shot yeah, I've ever, ever seen, seen in my life. Is that tequila or vodka? Yeah. Dear it Lord. <laughs> it, it, Gina just gave it to time. you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So we are at your one-year anniversary event. So this has been, what, how many, you guys have been planning this for a while, you and Gina. Um, I think, yeah, a couple couple months or so we've been yeah. um, planning it. Um, yeah, it's our one-year anniversary. We're super excited to um, see everyone come out tonight. And thank you guys again for yes. being here. Yes. We yes. love Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. Yeah, thanks yes, for inviting us. Letting us. Yeah, thank you. It's Bryn's night tonight. So <laughs> it's, night. Night. it's your name, yeah. and it's also my, my night. night. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so we're doing our a live show here. Actually, we're out of the studio. So thank yeah. you, Kim and Gina, for getting us out of yeah. the yes. studio. We haven't been out it of the studio in years. Are. The yeah. last yeah. time we did a live show like this was our 100th episode, yes. and we're almost at 300 now. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I know. We've been doing wow. this a long Amazing. time, y'all. You guys don't know, but Tony actually keeps us locked in the studio. I do. I don't <laughs> let him out. I'm Kim like, and no. Gina really saved us tonight. Yes, thank you. So, talk, so, G- so Kim, talk about tonight's event. Like, what? Yeah. First, do your shot. Yes, oh that's please. making me nervous. I can't, I can't watch it. Can We're gonna watch it. I can't it. watch this. There's Gina in the background. <laughs> you took oh, a dainty, a, a baby dainty shot. That's shot. A baby <laughs> shot. I mean, that's so, like four um, we're starting shots. it off with DJ um, Hibba Nasty tonight. Yeah. Um, at 8 o'clock, we eight o'clock. her on. Um, and then we switch it over to Gracie D mm-hmm. from Palm Springs. Um, I think she's, a lot of people know her from Dinosaur. Um, and then we have a pole dancer coming in at 10.30. Dang. To kind of, so <laughs> ladies bring their dollars out tonight. Get your dollars um, out. I brought yeah, dollars. I brought cash. You did? <laughs> of course you did. And, um, <laughs> You're ready. I don't know, you know, just whatever the night brings. Yeah, because you guys um, actually... Your Pride event from last year's Pride 2022 was the only Pride event that sold out for the whole season, your pool we party. We do, and um, I don't know if we're, we might be having a reveal tonight. On I the know their plans oh. for Pride. I'm not allowed to say <laughs> anything, know. but yeah. I'm going to say these. These girls are going to turn it out for Pride. Yeah, they have it's definitely, a um, huge event yeah, coming it's gonna up Yeah, it's going to be Pride. definitely, um, it's going to show up last year for sure. Yeah. I will tell you oh, that. Oh, I'm so excited <laughs> for that. I'm excited for tonight. I mean, we've been talking about it for weeks now and I love that for anybody who doesn't remember when Gina and Kim were on the episode it was like a year ago when you guys came on right almost almost about about a year year ago yeah yeah Almost yeah. a year. Yes. Actually, day. almost to the day. Almost, almost to the day, yeah. yeah. That's so exciting. Yeah. But so, for yeah. people who don't know, She Entertainment, go ahead and describe what they yeah. do, what you guys are all about, Kim. So we're all about, um, well, we like to say ladies entertaining ladies. That's kind of our motto. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nightlife, um, pool parties, um, you know, just bringing um, just a safe space for women. Um, and we're actually inclusive with the trans community and just actually for all the whole LGBT um, yeah. community. You know, we are, you know, always welcomed. Um, and we're just about having a good time and just yeah. turning it up, you know. So. I love that you guys are inclusive of all of the LGBTQ community. But you guys really do focus on throwing events for queer women. We do. Which we have talked about on the show is what I feel there's a lack, and especially in our community. Because, what, there's only 27 female bars in the U.S.? In the whole yeah. U.S. We are. Yeah. And we've actually visited a few of them. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're actually very lucky to have the one in San Diego here. Yeah, um, Gossip we're Grill. kind of... Um, Actually, in last year, I don't know if you guys knew, but we did um, a pool party in Palm Springs last year. So we're kind of expanding a little bit. So yeah. um, we're going to probably be doing the same again this year. Um, so we have a lot of big things planned for 2023. It's going to be a good year for you guys. <laughs> it is. It's kind of our, like, like they say, um, our breakout year, right? Yeah, your breakout year. <laughs> our breakout year. So, yeah, last um, year was just getting the getting, getting the, the tricycle wheels yeah. on or whatever. The, I feel the like training 2023 wheel. is going to be the year of the let's focus on queer women yes yeah why not i mean it's been you know and when i say you know can you (laughs) joked about this being my night but like when i say with you know tony and eric when we go out there are so many safe spaces for you know the other letters 
the other end. And <laughs> um, there aren't that many safe spaces yeah. for us. Yeah. So I was so excited about tonight because it really felt like I'm going to go somewhere that is safe for me and representative for me. And it got me so excited because I don't get to say that yeah. very often. Yeah. 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 Even sure. in a really liberal sure. place like San Diego. Yeah, for sure. Well, what we took her out for what? A, a mom's night out? We went to Richard's. We talked about this on the show. Yeah. And she literally went around to every, all the women in the bar and was like, are you gay? Are you gay? And none of them were gay. None. It was on a Wednesday night. Well, you, it was can, all young. you can do that tonight and they'll be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's not gay? Are you not gay? <laughs> yeah. you know, so. And it's like, it's, it's so great to be inclusive, of course. But then yeah. Yeah. to have a space where I know yeah. that there are going to be people like me. Yeah. Or, you know, it's it's nice. Yeah, 100%. that you can talk to and meet and yeah, yes. make exactly. yeah, a connection with. That's mm-hmm. nice. And I love that you and Gina can put on these events. And it's not just here in San Diego. You you guys are all Southern California from LA, like you said, Palm Springs. Yes, for sure. Yeah, and Palm Springs. Yeah, we had to deal with um, a lot of boys in Palm Springs. Oh, so I we, bet. <laughs> yeah. But we you love- know what? There's no women bars in Palm Springs. Like, yeah. So it Dinah was. Shore is the only. Yeah, for sure. Dinah Shore, yeah. Um, yeah, women's event. So yeah, that it was. Out um, there. It was actually a good event, though. But yeah. um, we're gonna be, you know, we're just happy to be out here tonight, and um, you know, the AWOL bar. You know, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. they're actually doing the event here at AWOL, which is kind of a newer bar in San yeah. Diego. Um, but the space that's involved with AWOL that Alex, the owner of, he, it's different little pop-up shops along with the bar. And they have a beautiful cantina in the back yeah. that I heard come next month they're going to be doing vegan food on Sundays. Oh. Yeah, you know, I'm a vegetarian. Chef. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it really is your year. It really it is, is your my year. year. <laughs> the year so of the yeah, vegetarian tonight, bisexual. We're turning it into a, um, a pop-up club tonight. So. Yeah, oh, pop-up club. Pop-up club, so there you yeah, go. I love um, that. For all the so women anyway, folk. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's. A, I wonder if any of the gay boys are going to come out to this. We'll see. We Hopefully know. not. We no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come support, but don't come take up support. space. Yeah, don't take up Brin's like you had enough space. <laughs> yeah, you've got the space. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a funny event. I'm excited yeah. to see how the night's going to unfold. <laughs> how has it been for you? Like, where... How much progress have you made? How have you seen yourself come from when you first had the idea, originated it, to here now at your one-year event where you're selling tickets and pre-orders selling Uh, out and it's, you know. So we've actually kind of um, partnered with just recently and uh, um, for San Diego Pride this year and also last year for Palm Springs Pride, we were partnered with um, actually both Palm Springs Pride and San Diego Pride. So we're kind of, you know, getting into that you know, giving back, Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're very passionate about giving back and just, um, you know, we're just trying to do something good for the community. So I mean, I would say that your whole business model is doing something Something good good for the community. (laughs) So yeah, I mean, mean, and and just like, you know, along with obviously, you know, providing safe spaces for women, you know, we also do just like to give back. Um, so I think that that's really important to us, and you know, I love it. You know, we uh, you know we've supported you guys for like two yeah. hundred fans, <laughs> and I always say this: like we went, to, I went to the event you did at Rich's last yes. year, yes, and I was like, these girls got me fucked yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> so they do know how to throw a party. Yeah. I will yeah. vouch nice. for that. So yeah, I mean, we try, we try to throw a you know a good party, and you know, yeah, exactly. We will. We'll do good for. for but Kim, we're gonna let you get back to your your duties. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna have to go and take a shot. Go, go yeah, thank you again for being here. We're gonna check in with Kim like about ten. Y- yes. See exactly. how how that shot. Is. No, we should do a first drink, last yeah. drink with you. I know. Okay. This is, yeah. okay, this is Kim at yeah, like at the beginning of the night. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes. Thank you guys for having me, and yes. thank you for being here, and we'll see you. It's gonna be fun. Tonight. Thank you so enjoy, much. And enjoy the gray goose that we got you too. Yeah. Oh, oh, we will. will. Thank you. Okay. Oh, we will. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Yay. Yay. I'm going to say yay 82,000 times tonight. Uh, I gotta, you you got to chill I mean, out. Maybe we should take a shot every, every time, time you I say, say yay. yay. <laughs> Here, can you put that on that yes. chair? Thank you. We have another guest coming up soon. All right. Yeah. Somebody that I've been wanting to talk to. But before we get to that, are you guys excited for tonight? I am. Yes. I'm very excited. I'm curious to I, see. And you know what I think is really cool? Just talking about Pride is starting to get me really excited oh, about Pride. Yeah. And talking then, about Pride. Yeah. I haven't even like I haven't thought about like it's coming up. The yeah. idea of 
Palm Springs pride oh. gets me. Like, even if I can't go, just knowing it's happening yeah. is like... You know what else is a first for the show today? What's that? We've talked about him so much on the show. And the oh. Firefighter Steven Firefighter is Steven. actually... He's not on camera, bam, 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 but bam. he is actually on um, the soundboard. He's doing tech yeah. today. <laughs> Hi, Steven. Soundboard Steven. Hey, what up? There, ah, there. He, he, he actually his... looks like Purple Disco Machine. <laughs> I told him that earlier. Yeah. He looks uh, like a DJ. Brynn took legit. pictures, so she's going to post them. Yeah. Uh, Firefighter Steven, so everybody can finally yep. see what he looks like. <laughs> oh, no. Should we get to some stuff that's village. been um, happening? Yes, let's. Yes. Before we talk to our other guests? Yes. I know it's been like kind of... Okay, it's all over the internet, the whole banning of the drag queens yes. and all of that. Yeah. But I did want to say... Uh, because we can go dark, right? We right. do it a lot. But there is a little bit of silver lining in all this. Okay. The governor, Tim Waltz, Waltz of Minnesota, Okay. he actually just made the state of Minnesota a refuge for gender-affirming care. Oh. Yeah. So he also um, passed a bill that any, others, any people who come to Minnesota wanting to per, per prosecute People who have left their state, they're not allowed. Oh, they're not right, allowed to right. give any information. They're not allowed to help the police. None of that. Come through state. Minnesota. I know, yeah. right? And who yeah. would think Minnesota, but Out of all good of for it. them. You know what the latest fashion trend is going to be? What? Having a super cute Minnesotan accent. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't, Brittany. Please don't. <laughs> don't. I know don't where this is going. No. Don't you know. Don't you know. I'm going to oh. hit up the bar tonight. It's Butch Bear Night tonight. <laughs> Butch Bear Night. <laughs> That is the worst. Add it to the rest of your wonderful That's pretty accents. Good. Please. I love that. I can't wait to go to like Leather Night in here. Leather in Night a Minnesota in Minnesota accent. accent. And people be like, oh, they're so sexy. They're from Minnesota. I want you to um, just get on the mic up there and I will steal the mic from me and just go do that. Do my Minnesota <laughs> accent? Yeah. Hey, oh, so like, hey you? we're <laughs> coming over here. Get your gender affirming care. Hey, stay for your care. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> she lost it. I she lost, lost it. I was going to say, come, come for your care. Stay for your care. Can you just your speak care? Dua Lipa lyrics? In <laughs> yeah, the yeah, okay. yeah, and that's that's it. It. Yeah. it. Come for your care. Stay for the nightlife. Listen, do we are at an all-women's event. Have you caught up on Harlem season two? Yes. Okay, I just started, and it is so good. For anybody who's not watching, Harlem is like, it seems like they grabbed all of those female cast yes. shows. And put it in one show yes. and made it really cool. Yes. Where there's more than just one queer character yes. that's you. just not the side yeah. chick. Yeah. It's story. the main, yeah. main it's, story. Yeah. I it's just, so good. I I kept, it's so good. Was, she's good like, show. I'm going on my first LGBTQIA date. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't have to call it that. She's like, you don't have to call it that. Yeah. I, w I was really worried that season two, because it did so well, like, how does it outdo itself? Yeah. But yeah. it really out, it's outdone itself. It outdid itself. And I'm just going to tell you, I'm not giving any spoiler, but the finale is, is insane. Oh, okay, spoil no yeah. spoiler, no more, yeah. no more, no but more. But it's insane. No more, no more. Okay. But it's a great season. If you guys are not watching Harlem, start with season one because it's a great and build up. Season two and so far is I the, love that it makes fun of sex in the city I was and just say, like yes. that. <laughs> Big time. It is, yes. it is what and just like that wishes yeah, it and, was. And they know what they are. They know what they're good at and they know. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's I fantastic. But we do have another guest who's coming on the oh, show. Okay. Great. Sit down, guys. Yes. So Steven, right? Steve or yeah. Steven? Steven. Steve, Steve, Steve. Is fine. Yeah. So I have been following his shop, your pop-up shop. Well, you explain what Starship Pride is. Because here at AWOL, they have little pop-up shops. And one of them, the one we're sitting right across from, is Starship Pride. And I remember following it when it first started as an Instagram account. Way back a couple years ago, actually, right? Yeah, I, well, I had a couple. So this yeah. is the second um, reinvention, iteration. iteration. Yeah. That's yeah. There you go. <laughs> so talk but, uh, about the pop-up shop. So, yeah, we have a shop here. It's at the uh, Access Studios near the AWOL bar. Yeah. And uh, we've been open for just a few weeks now, like th three weeks. This is our third weekend. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And it's uh, Starship Pride. It's a queer brand that I created accidentally. That's how the best yeah. ones always yeah, happen. You, yep. you don't plan anything because it never turns out the way you plan anyway. So, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I, do, I quit a job and was like, I don't know, I started doodling. I'm like, oh, I like this illustration. Let me put it on a T-shirt. And so I just kind of 
went from there. So all of the That's designs cool. on the clothes are your actual artwork? Yes, they are. Oh, That's so amazing. Cool. I love that. Thank you. Do you do the screen printing yourself or do you send it I'm actually you? like trying to teach myself right See, now. I'm but in I'm in the same process. Is. I've been wanting to do shirts for it's the show. It's a pain in the ass, huh? my art, but I'm like, that just seems like a lot of work. It's a lot <laughs> of work. I've actually a lot done of it. Person. You have? I did it in yeah. high school. I learned oh, how to God. screen print on one of my like tech shops that I tech took. Shops. Yeah, and I learned. It's a, it is hard, though. Oh, I, see, I had to make my own screen. It's so hard. No. I, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I just want to like make the illustrations and have yeah. somebody for else do it for me. Don't know, how would you describe the brand of Starship Prime? Oh, yeah, I should have. I, I forgot to get to that part. Um, <laughs> yeah, it just was like me doodling and then wanting to like put it on a shirt and then I thought, oh, maybe I could s- sell these shirts and then yeah. I didn't really know what direction I was going with as far as like creating a brand at yeah. that point, but at some point I was like, I kind of wanted to be like a queer brand, you know. I wanted to feel like a safe space for all queer people. And the Starship yeah. is, you know, people always ask why Starship. I'm, and I'm always, oh, there's different reasons. And aliens, you believe in aliens? <laughs> I, 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 I think, aliens. It, I think yeah. it started because it originally was the idea was like, oh, what if I created illustrations that were very like. Like there was a backstory to it, like an alien backstory to yeah. it, and then okay. it kind of stemmed from there. And then like I thought of like, oh, if I had a starship, I could take all my queer people to another planet, and Sweet. we could have our own little queer planet. I, know. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that. Where do I buy tickets? Yes. Where do I buy tickets? And all the rivers are yeah. just vodka. And it'll just be one big party oh, the whole time. Oh yeah, skinny margaritas. Um, skinny margaritas and vodka sodas. That's what the rivers are made of. Aww. That's it. Uh, and also because it kind of sounds like. 80s. Yeah. It does. I am a yeah, child of the 80s. I like so. the designs. They're very colorful. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah, all of them. It's really cool. I didn't know you were doing the pop up until I saw it. On yeah, it kind of just happened. It's like another one of those things that just happened. I didn't plan yeah. it. So. Oh, uh, and you guys are doing, Starship's doing an event tomorrow here, right? No, it's not our that? event. It's just somebody I was helping to promote. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. But yeah, well, what I, is I, it? Because it's, it's like 90s and 90s. Yeah, it's a 90s RB party with live music, live singers. Live band, obviously. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. That. A DJ, and it starts at 4 p.m., okay. and it's the 90s party. Um, it's a 90s or, party? Yeah. Amazing. Tomorrow, I here. think that's really smart. We don't have any kind of 90s night or anything in Hillcrest. Like, and we should. I love that. Right? Some of my era. <laughs> Some of my era, too. 90s R&B music. Uh, It'll yes. be 90s R&B music. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. Yeah. SWB, uh, yes. Spencer. Yes. Oh, he's awesome. a Tracy Spencer. Do you remember, do, whatever happened to Tracy Spencer? I, she had like two albums or something. If you're around, let's She's working know. at Starbucks in Tacoma oh. or something like that. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I noticed her when no. I was there the other day. Married a hedge funder and now just does art, art. in the garden. Yeah, she does like the, the clip, what is it like? Yeah, the like Georgia Stationary art, art. Oh, stationary. Yeah. I thought you were saying art of vaginas. Like no. <laughs> okay. She has clit art. We know it's on your mind tonight. Yes, we do. Bringing it back to an all yes, female we night. Do. <laughs> so, how long are you going to have the pop up show shop up? I'm going to say uh, through spring. Okay. So, you know, a couple months. Get everybody yeah. well, outfits. That, that makes sense. Pride. You have a lot yeah. of like really cool tank tops and mm. short sleeve shirts. Like I'm perfect for summer. Yeah. Yeah. I know, me too. Yeah, I love the logo with the, the, the like Pisces. Pisces. No, the oh. Pisces uh, palm oh. trees. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, you got that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> kind. Of, that's okay. a play on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a play on that. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but you guys, if you want to come out and check out Starship. Pride, it's at the AWOL Studios, right? Yeah. Oh, I forget what the studios That's are. Access Studios, but it's Access, right next to the it's AWOL right bar. Next to yeah. AWOL. Come yeah. and visit, Stephen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buy a tank top or two. Yeah. They look nice. I, I'm <laughs> seeing something I want. Yeah. Business. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, I also have other, uh, I have a couple other uh, local yeah, designers. Jewelry. My friend Ellie does the Rare Bird designs. Uh, it's oh, all it. jewelry. And um, Avid Diva Designs, we also have there. Oh, nice. I think you may follow them, yeah. too. Um, we have their stuff in there too. So oh, nice. come on by and check us out. Yeah. I love Yay. it. I'm glad I finally got to talk to you in person. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when well, I we saw you, I was like, I so funny feel you like I've met. met him already or I've known yeah, him. But I've known him from that's, Instagram and he's been following the show for a while. We've never met in person. We've never met in person. That's, that's what that's happens awesome. when you like follow somebody for a while. You kind of get yeah. to know well, them on yeah. there and you think that you've. <laughs> You no. think you really know them, but you don't know them? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We know yeah. how that is. <laughs> but thank yeah. you for of talking course. to us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys. 
How are you We're doing so far? So great. I'm doing great. I'm you excited. know what? Um, Bryn has jokes tonight. Do you want to do jokes? Should I? You want me to do my set now? To 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 <clears throat> to um, Eric to and Steve guys? and I. Yeah. There's a lot of bisexual stuff. Are you gonna get it? Um, not, yeah, but... I'll get it. <clears throat> okay. Everyone Hold on. Hold on. We have a laugh track just in case they're not <laughs> funny. <laughs> let's let's make sure it works first. Hold on. Uh, um, Techie Steven, can you hear this? Oh. How about the children? They're ready. There CBS we go. CBS laugh track. All right. Oh, God. All right, Bryn. All right. Wait, wait. <laughs> I, I got to turn okay, okay. as if I'm your audience. Yeah, so you guys, you guys have to be the audience with the laugh? Yeah. I, I'm ready with the laugh button because God knows. What did, what did I say on the rest? It's, it's as sex. funny as as funny as a St. Jude's commercial. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Me wrong. All right. Well, no, I don't want to do it. But I'm bumped. <laughs> Anyway, it's like funny because I'll be the jokes are like as if there is a huge audience here, so everyone will just have to imagine that there's a lot of queer women. Yes. Yeah. And you guys should also just close your eyes. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna look at you for this. No, no, okay. no. You can no, you can watch me. I'm just saying before we get started, close your eyes. Put yourself in the mindset of a queer woman. How do I do that? Um what do I, I need think to of think my of? childhood. Yes, oh, think yeah. of your childhood. Think of the womb. Think the of, womb. Think, think of you deciding that you wanted to cut your hair short and get blonde streaks, and they called you Lesbo for six Don't months. Don't talk about Steven like that. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so Steven R is already there. Steven is in the mindset. Steven's got it. All right. He's going to kill me for that. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I'm in the mindset. I'm thinking okay. of okay, room. Right, I'm there. Right. Okay. I'm in my flannel. Let's go. I'm playing Katie Lang. Yes, in your flannel, you're thinking playing Katie Lang. Thinking of U-Hauls. Yeah, yeah. U-Hauls. <laughs> oh, chap- oh what we, our quiz that we did last week. Yes. Chapstick. Chapstick. Yes. Uh, yeah. You've got a Pamela Anderson poster okay. up on there. And, okay, got you know. it. Okay, you're good. And you I'm say good. it's just because you like her hairstyle. <laughs> right. But it's not. I uh, know, I did it's that. because I like her politics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she was fabulous in Chicago, the musical. Wait, oh no. We no, no, lesbian mindset. Not lesbian. Mindset. Lesbian. <laughs> not we don't mindset. care about that. Yes. Okay, go, Brett. Okay. All right, so go. Hey, Can guys. I do your intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Hey, you guys. Welcome to the Laugh Factory, or oh. lack of. <laughs> 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 the Ha 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 Factory. That would be a great name for yeah. comedy. The Ha Ha Ha, 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 ha Factory. Yeah. The Ha 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 Barn. Yeah. The ha, barn? Ha, it's the a ha, barn? Yes, it's ha, a ha, barn. ha, ha, barn. Like, instead of, like, instead howdy, of the doody, dress barn? it's like the dress <laughs> barn. Hey, coming from you, do you, from the local dress what? barn, dress it's, it's bar. Bryn Mack hey. with her, her comedy set. Hey. hey, guys. What's up? I'm Bryn Mack. I'm so excited to be out tonight. Um, it's really, really nice to be in a venue like this. Um, I know that this may be shocking to you, but... Most um, stand-up crowds are full of douchey straight dudes. <laughs> I know that um, shocking, right? Shocking, um, shocking. And if there is one thing that douchey straight dudes like more than um, watching cuckolding videos, it <laughs> is heckling comics. Um, one time I was doing a show and I had a dude, and I'm like in the middle of a joke, and I was wearing leggings, you know. Yeah. And he just all of a sudden out of nowhere screams out like, leggings aren't pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, great point. <laughs> Counterpoint, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> go fuck yourself so hard. Go fuck yourself harder than that time your grandma won that Alaskan cruise. So you got to watch your revenge porridge in the upstairs part of the house. <laughs> go fuck yourself harder than that for pants. See, look, the audience is loving it. The audience is loving they it. Love it. Yeah. And then he was like... All embarrassed, and he's like, well, you have a camel toe. (gasps) And I'm like, this is so embarrassing. For you, that's my vagina. (laughs) (laughs) Read a book. Wait, you made made Steven laugh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he's turning red. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Aw, Fireface Steven's blushing. Oh, we found his trigger word, vagina. (laughs) Aw. Aw. So, yeah, so it is, like, really important and cool to have spaces like this for women like me. I'm bi. Um, selfish, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Save some for the rest of us <laughs> is what women in my mom's church group like to passive-aggressively whisper shout at me. <laughs> um, it does sort of yeah, trip the kids like they like that one. Yeah. <laughs> the kids. Um, it does sort of trip people out when they hear that I'm bisexual because I was married to a dude for a while and I have a kid. 
And um, what I found out is that telling people that you're bisexual after having been with a man is like telling a college bro you like his favorite band. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, you hook up with girls? Name five girls you've hooked up with. <laughs> and I'm like, well, there's Madison. And then there's Madison with an I. And then there's Madison with a Y. And then there's Madison with two Ds. And I'm from California. They've all been named Madison. Yo, you know like, I'm Madison. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, name your favorite Indigo Girl song. And I'm like, closer to fine. Everyone Ooh, knows that know. one. <laughs> like, I bought the holiday album. It was terrible, but I wanted to support it. <laughs> I do think that it's like wild when people accuse bi people of yeah. being like, you know, selfish. Yeah. Because it's like, if anything, I have like doubled my workload. <laughs> you know, like not only do I have to learn two sets of anatomy, but I also now need to learn and keep up with two sets of slang. Oh, yeah. So it's like, ha you know, having a Gillette blade in the house <laughs> means something very different in both those households. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know what a Gillette blade we is. We don't know what that it's is. It's a bisexual person. Oh. A Gillette blade, yeah. Okay. That joke would have killed for the queer ladies. It <laughs> did. See, they're laughing. Thank they're you. laughing. Thank you. <laughs> But, you know, I think that it is funny because I do spend a lot of time trying to keep up with slang. But yeah. the thing that I think is funniest is, like, sex terms. Okay. And I just wonder how they come up with them because they, they make no sense. Like, you know, like a blowjob? Yes. yes. That is not what that is, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You know? Yeah. And I just picture it being, like, um, a bunch of old dudes just sitting around, you know, in, like, big wooden chairs in front of a fireplace. And they're like... All right, so we've settled on docking for that one. Next one up. And then they're like, um, okay, for this one, sir, I was thinking we would call it the let me put my dick down your throat maneuver. <laughs> oh, no, no, Chesley, that's far too aggressive. All right, what if we call it the a little bit of teeth is fine? Oh, my God, man, no. <laughs> Are you mad? Um, you need to lull them into a full sense of security. They need to think of picking dandelions on a summer's day. <laughs> I know. Let's call it a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> sir, it's genius. Thank you. Um, all right, sir. What do we call it when women want it done to them? Hmm. Tell them they're being eaten. <laughs> so what? Tell them their vaginas are being eaten out of them. <laughs> but sir, it's more about um, a licking to sucking ratio. No, call it eating pussy. <laughs> but, sir, I, I don't think anyone would want us to do that to them. Exactly, Chesley. <laughs> There's the uh, way. Chesley has a lot to just, learn. Sir, you're a genius. <laughs> and on the off chance that they do want us to do it, just give them a little nip while they're down there. Tell them they've started their period and it's off to the shame hut with them. The sh <laughs> sir, that's why the they call you the captain. <laughs> and that's it. I end on a period joke. You did. You <laughs> end on <laughs> Firefighters, he was like, uh uh. That's it. That's How did I sign up for I this love shit? It. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Funnier than a St. Jude's commercial? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Funnier yeah. than like children's That's cancer, it. for sure. Wow. wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. As someone with cancer, or did have cancer, I could You're say that. You're allowed to say that. Yeah. And a former yeah. child. <laughs> and, a, and a former child. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I want to see proof. I want proof. I want proof. I want the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> I want the receipts. Oh, God. <laughs> um... What else did I have to talk about today? I don't... I think... What? <laughs> that, um, like, as the crowd starts to get in here, it's going to be, like, super pumped. I'm, I hope that a lot of people come. Yes. I think they will. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's super cool. I mean, it's always nice to, like, see the momentum build yeah. when you're on a night out, yeah. you know? See how it starts and how it ends. Yeah, 100%. For sure. Yes. Um, what was I going to... Oh, are you guys caught up on Last of Us? Yes. I'm not. I'm one episode behind. I'm one but episode I behind. wanted to talk about the lesbian storyline. I'm so glad they flushed it out for the TV yes. show. I mean, it was tragic. It but was very yes. tragic, but it was so good. I and, loved it. And you know what I didn't realize was that the girl that plays the love interest yeah. is the girl that Storm. played in the... Like movie within or the play within the movie and Euphoria. 
Oh, she yes. She was the Zoraria. one that played yeah. Rue. <gasps> You're Euphoria. right. Is she? I couldn't place yes. her. She is. No, isn't it uh, Rue's yes. little sister? Oh, and maybe you're right. No, wait. Yeah. It is Rue's little sister. Because the old, you guys, right. and the only reason I know that is that um, the girl that played Rue in the play within a play was my yeah. photographer. Remember? Oh, yeah. Asia. Yes. Asia Blair. Yeah, shout Asia out. You're Blair. the best. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. I'm loving the so last good. It's... it's I'm curious what they're going to do with season two because the uh, second too. game, video game, yeah. The Last of Us Part Two or whatever it's called, is even better. I heard that it's going to be like White Lotus and they don't... They kill everybody off. No, the gays no, no. kill them. No, it, it's These like gays, a whole new... It's a whole new storyline. It's a whole new thing. It might oh. tie back to the original yeah. a little bit, but it's own. It's its own thing that lives <gasps> independently. But no Pedro oh. Pascal? Because he is the Jennifer Coolidge of that. Who? Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Oh, I love he him. He is the Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, of the, he yeah. literally is. He is did amazing. you know he has a trans sister? Yes. I did. And he's I did. very supportive of her. Yes. I love that shit. I yes. did. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. I know. He's a cool guy. Yeah, have you um, read his Starbucks order? No. What <laughs> People is are calling it violent. Violent? <laughs> <laughs> How is a Starbucks order it's violent? It's Quartano. Okay. Um, extra ice in a venti cup with six shots. Oh, Whoa. Is, he, is he related to Bash? Yeah, that's like, <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'd have a heart attack that's just called and then shit my pants bash. afterwards. I, yeah. yeah, that's what people are calling it, violent. Yeah, violent. Like violent. Pedro Pascal's violent <laughs> He's Starbucks a violent order. Starbucks hey, order guy. It seems to be working for him. Uh, yeah, it is 100% working for him. So um, the other thing that's happening is the Oscars are coming up. Yes. Does anybody that? care? I don't care. I hate the Oscars. I'm done. Can I'm done I tell you it. an interesting fact about the Oscars that I learned today? What? Yes. There's only been three female directors that have ever won in the hundred years. Yeah, it's stupid. Did I just steal your story? No. Oh, okay. No, I was and thinking, the, you know how this whole gender affirming or non-gender categories they want? So there has been a big push in Hollywood to have that removed. And the Independent Spirit Awards and the SAG Awards are, have already removed it. removed it for next year's awards. So they've been <clears throat> petitioning the Oscars to do so and the pushback they're getting. Uh, but nobody really cares about the Oscars. It's no. a dumb esoteric Does institution. Does anybody watch the Oscars? Yeah. Plus no. they like lobby in order to like, it's exactly. paid for. Exactly, it's like paid they, for. They, 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 it's like those like awards you buy as companies. Like well, Exactly. Yeah. They were like terrible to the Screen Actors Guild when they were trying to like form and no, the, yeah. the Academy is terrible. But I did, one them. thing that is cool this year with the Oscars <laughs> is there is a short film called Night Ride and it is the first, it is going to make, it, while it's already making history with the Oscars, um, it's the Oscar nominated film Night Ride will co- will could make history as the first LGBTQ plus title this century to win the short film category. But it would be so like the Oscars to like it, it's uh, the front runner. It would be amazing. Everyone wants it, and then it doesn't. And then it doesn't. Yeah, you watch I know. it. That would be the Oscars. Yeah, it would be. Of course. They're so dumb. <clears throat> They're so dumb. But if I could win one, that'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with you guys then. What would your yeah. biopic be about? My biopic. <laughs> what would it be called? It would be called <laughs> an unruly vegetarian bisexual. <laughs> That's a long title. That's a long title, you know. What would yours be called? Eric? My weekend with an unruly vegetarian <laughs> bisexual. <laughs> we could. They could be sequels. Yeah. 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 And then what about the you, podcast. Tony? Of <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be the third installment. What, of what would yours be, Tony? <laughs> Mine would be. Oh God! If this toilet seat could talk. Uh. <laughs> No, <laughs> I, lo- I real, love watching fireplace. Real women <laughs> fart. Yeah, real women. <laughs> that would actually be mine. Real women fart. That would be. Do a they good really? One. Do they though? Oh, so it's so funny because my daughter farted at a dinner last night. And there was wow, a, this show has really gone to the shit. We're talking about farts again. You brought it up. I didn't say anything. My daughter is seven. She farted. And I've always heard her like, hey, it's part of your body, you know? Yeah. And there was like a teenage girl there that was like, did you fart? And Flynn's like, yeah. And she's like, everyone farts. And she goes, girls don't fart. And Flynn goes, uh, real girls do. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we fart. I fart all the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Have you? When is the most embarrassing time you've ever farted? And you go, you're like, God damn it. Why did I do this? I mm. one time went got up to get you know your body changes after you have a child. So one time I got up at work. Yeah. And it was a very serious HR talk and I got up to shut the door and I farted. <gasps> no. And then I just had to keep walking out and I was like, "Bye." <laughs> I have two amazing fart oh, stories. Yes. One, I was 
This was so mean. I did it to my mother. We were in an elevator. We were dressed. This is when we were, when I was part of the cult. I forget where we were going, but we were all dressed up and it was a field elevator. And I remember right when the door opened, I ripped one and I looked at my mother and said, Mom, <laughs> wait till we get home and just a be like it out of there, terrible. and she, wow. she's tiny, so she was stuck in the bag, and she the look of mortification <laughs> on her face. Is that even a word? This mortification is what on her. Yeah, yeah. Oh. When you have kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, and then she paid. She did. She she got me back. We were at Home Depot one time, and <laughs> there was this, poor mom. I know. So there was this group, this family. I would say a good six of them in the same aisle as we. My mom had this mischievous look on her face. And I was like, "What is she gonna do?" She ripped one, blamed it on me, went over to the family and said, "I just want to apologize for what came out of my son's ass." <laughs> wow. Or she said, "But not ass," because she doesn't curse. And I was like, "Mom," and she's like. I'm very, very sorry. I'm very sorry oh that you guys God. have to walk through it. And I was like, this what the... Be- and the other time I did it was on stage during uh. a very serious scene that me and Rob did a show together <laughs> um, next fall. And I totally did. And it was a silent one to all the other actors on stage. You could see it work its way through the stage because it was like my face was beat red. Then you see it hit one of the actresses as like this, like, Ooh. And then another, <laughs> you could just see it travel down the, down all the actors' faces. They can't break character. Oh they my can't. God. <laughs> then you can, I was just like, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Such a bastard. <laughs> That's great. That's what, what you I- have to do at the finale night. One of my favorite things to do was when I worked at Banana Republic, I would always say, oh, I have to go walk the floor to make sure that no one's stealing. Oh but it was literally <laughs> to go Crop find dusting. an empty corner to go fart in. That's horrible. Yeah, like, natural crap. human. You guys, what are you supposed trash. to do? <laughs> like people fart. Not, yes, I guess. Real girls fart. Real girls <laughs> and real women. The name of real your memoir. Fart. That would be no. The name of my memoir would be tampons should be free. <laughs> tampons should be free. <laughs> you don't want us free bleeding all over the place. <laughs> They should be free. They should they be should, free. They really should. That's ridiculous. I can't help it. Yes. Toilet paper should also be free, I think. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Did you hear about this um, concert in Nashville that's being thrown to benefit all the money going? There's a bunch of huge queer celebrities that are going to be part of it. Mm-hmm. But um, hold on. Where is the article? Like who? Um, let's see. Allison Russell, Brittany Howard, Brothers Osborne, Jack Wesley Rogers, Joy... Um, I can't say that word. Lance I don't know. Bass? I don't know any of those people. Rainbow Collateral Band? Lil Anyways, Nas? No. They're all country people, I think. Oh, so. okay. But it's a big fundraiser, and all the money they're raising for this concert over in Nashville is going to an- all the anti-LGBT bills, like, to get rid of oh, them. Oh, great. Yeah, so great. they're going, That's they're amazing. staying local in Tennessee okay. that. to help raise money to fight all the bigotry and hate out Doesn't there. Doesn't Taylor Swift live in Nashville? She does, does yes. She? Well, come on, Taylor. Out of her 14 houses, I think one yeah. of them is Girl. there. Girl. And you guys know all the shit going down in Florida, didn't it's you? It's disgusting. Yes. Did you see that post of the governor holding that uh, snow, Ron DeSantis. snowflake that somebody yes. took? Yes. And it says fascist on it's it, a, and he's such a dumbass. Such an idiot. Uh, oh, such Little an idiot. Ronnie D with his heels. I'm really scared he's going to be like our well, presidential runner. I was talking runner. to someone that was like, that's who we should be afraid of. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. People are still talking about Trump. We need to stop no, talking Trump's about Trump, yeah. and we need to start talking about Ron DeSantis. He is dangerous. I know we said we were going to keep it light tonight, <laughs> but do not like make light of him like no. we did with Trump. No. Don't, Don't joke do about it. him. He It's deadly and just serious, like and he's a bad person. And just like said on that person. video, the biggest the way to do it is vote. Go out and vote, vote, yes. vote, vote, vote. Yes. And did Don't you see that? Uh, Margaret Cho was on The View and what she said about Jesus and the disciples. No. I didn't. They were all they're good. drag. They, are they were all, all drag. wearing dresses and dusters. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing drag and telling stories, too. And telling yes. stories. Yes. Yes. Margaret Cho was like one of like my fundamental comedy heroes Like when Me I too. started, you know, like stand up. Like yeah. she's one of... She's my top. When I started stand up too. When you started stand up too, Eric? <laughs> How did that go, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I love This that. podcast is proof. Yeah. There, that's yeah. podcast. Oh, he's Aww. Aww. <laughs> Dead air. We dead just stopped talking. <laughs> we just, just stopped we talking. We just looked at each other. <laughs> looked at each other like, what's happening? What are we doing? 
<laughs> it's a live show, people. It's yeah. a live show. Oh, can show. I talk about my Dapper Boy? Yes. Oh, yes. that's what we forgot to bring up. I, should I, I stand this. up? Yes. yes. So uh, for all twirl? of you who listened to our last episode, we had the fabulous women from Dapper Boy, Vicky and Sharice. How do you say their last name? Pasha. 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 So th- Pasha. Pasha. So they sent Pasha. Bryn this fabulous flannel. They also sent me a pair of jeans and a jean jacket that he didn't wear tonight, unfortunately. But it fits great. I love yes. their stuff. And did you see the... Did they send you jeans? No, they sent me a hat. Me too. I was like Sorry. listening to that part and I was like, this is such a brilliant... Isn't it? Brilliant. Well, it has, so the so inside of their jeans, I got to tell you, the inside of their jeans on the pocket, it says, Dapper Boy Jeans. These were prepared for you by... These were made for you by Vicky and Cherise and their last name is Signature. I was like, oh, I love it. So this has the, which it's I love, cute. it's got the buttons and then it's got the nice reinforcements. Do you remember Vic and Cherise talking yes. about? It's got the reinforcements in between the buttons. So you don't so pop that a boob? You're brazi- like I would never because. I know, my titties would be popping out One in out the left sixth right grade, now. a boy said Mine that are my. popping out. Yeah, I this would be great for you guys. I could yeah. use that. Uh, a boy in the Why sixth bother? grade told me that I was a carpenter's <laughs> dream, flat as a board and easy to nail. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Flat as a board and easy to do. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but this has the reinforcements in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you, were, <laughs> if you were to need it. So, and it's very comfortable. It's like super cute. Yeah. I absolutely I love, love it. it. Very, very I'm wearing nice. it over a dress tonight, but I would, I would wear it. You're gonna Normally you're gonna well. just show the dress off tonight, right? Yeah, it's all oh. slutty. Um, anyways, <laughs> wait, you guys are going to Sabat later, aren't you? We are. Oh, yes, we're gonna have a goth night tonight. You don't look oh, very goth. You look I like have a, a cowboy. Of outfits in the car. No, you do not. Okay. I do. I do. Wow, it is Caesar. Just like I'm, I was 22 yeah. again. I'm oh, go in the car. you're not <laughs> 22. In the car. <laughs> you're not 22. I'm almost <laughs> twice that age. I know. Yeah, that's being kind, but no, you're not 22. Yes. We haven't gone out in like six weeks. We are just wow, that sick. is a record for yeah. you. We're ready to go out. We have, been, yeah. we have not gone out in forever. Neither yeah. have I, actually. Yeah. No, I went out last week. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who's coming back? What, what show is coming back to San Diego? Miriam T. is having a one night. <laughs> I thought you were um, going to say Jinx Monsoon. And no. Like, she's coming back. Yes. No. Um, she's doing tea parties coming back. I know. From Raised the dead. from the dead. Yes. I think yes. it is March 20th is when they're yeah. doing it at Moe's. Uh, we used to talk about Miriam T. And I saw her um, on Thursday night. She was doing... Um, Bridesmaid Trivia at Moe's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's also doing her one-woman show on the 18th, I believe, at Moe's. I saw her first one-woman show. So, anyways. Mm -hmm. um, (laughs) Go. (laughs) She's a second woman now? Yeah. This is her second woman show. Second woman woman show. (laughs) (laughs) Which is ironic because she has multiple personalities. Yeah. Yeah. Don't we all, though? Don't we all? Don't we all? Sybil. Yes. <laughs> but you guys, we, we're going to wrap it up soon. Are we? Yeah. Are we oh. going to wrap it up? Yeah. I thought we were taking a break. I, no. Yeah. We're gonna try. My stand-up was the break. Time yeah. flies. I know. Well, I want to get out of here before the festivities start, but I thought we would finish off today with one of our favorite segments. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, what is it? Yeah. Because it's... Carol. Carol. There she is. Carol. Carol. Fucking bitch, Carol. We hate her. Carol yes. Louise, you guys. Up. Who I know I have, I have a, a Carol. Okay, Eric, you go first. So I recently went to Universal Studios and That's drove right. all the way. Yes, Super Mario Land, by the way, side note. Amazing. It was good. So cool. I'm gonna take the one. ride was fantastic. Um, everything was amazing. And Universal Studios is so much more fun than when it was when I was a kid. Yes, yeah. it was so dumb yeah. when we were really little, yeah. like upped it up. So, anyways, my Carol of the Week is the five freeway. Which everyone seems to think there's, it's always a Camaro or Dodge Charger that is tailgating you that thinks they're like playing, yes. I don't know, some video game. I don't know. Mario uh, Kart? Yeah, yeah no. maybe Mario Kart. Mario Kart <laughs> on the five. <laughs> yeah, and it's just, don't drive like a goddamn asshole on every part of the freeway, whether it's Oceanside, whether it's Orange County, whether it's LA. Yeah. Everyone, it's the same it's, two yeah. cars yep. that are always on your ass, and they're always asshole drivers. Always. always. Yeah. It's not a video game. Stop driving like it's one. It's real. I've been, I mean, mine are always driving, so I appreciate that yours is driving. <laughs> Wait, yes. what is yours, Carol? 
No, yeah, my, I mean, just whenever I have a carol, it's oh, driving. That's I mean, true. I would say we right now. We always talk about driving. We talk about driving yeah, all the time. Driving is like the biggest oh, yeah. carol of life. Well, and we're such Southern Californians. <laughs> yeah. You said the five. Oh. The five. The five. Oh, before you get to your carol, you know what I found out about? Actually, Firefighter Steve told me about this. So, mm-hmm. Sunny Delight is coming out with like a <gasps> I've heard about this. seltzer yes. that apparently tastes like a mimosa. Yes. So, I'm going to get, and they're at Walmart. Which I don't support. But I will get these so we can do snacks with a Q since you brought us that awful Pepsi. I do have a new Pepsi that I'm bringing. It's Rosalia flavored. Oh, I have them at home. They're like rose and cherry flavored. They're fantastic. I've been drinking them. Sunny D. Yes. Is it a hard seltzer? It's a hard seltzer. seltzer. I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, We need to get those. I definitely want to try that. I want to try it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. What is your Carol? My Carol is when people stand in the middle of the grocery store aisle, like they stand. (laughs) back against one aisle to look at the things on the opposite aisle. So it's like, what am I to do? (laughs) What is it? Steven does that? He's like, like, this guy right here. I'm like, I can't get around you. I, You know, get the fuck fuck out out of here. Like, stand next to what you're looking at. Or pick quickly. (laughs) Or, you know, like, what what am I to do? Yeah, exactly. just be conscious of other people when you're in the grocery store. People are like looking around, like, doo, 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 doo. what kind of Doritos should I get today? <laughs> you know, my Carol is what? what? And I've said this before, but it's been driving me crazy. When you're on the dating apps, like Grinder, Scruff, or whatever, and they have their Instagram listed, and then you go click on it, <laughs> and, and it's connected. Oh, no. Private? Private. Uh. Don't post it. I'm not going to fucking follow you. <laughs> God, that drives me fucking crazy. I hate like that. Like and subscribe to date me. Yeah. Wow. Or when I get um, somebody with no profile whatsoever, just like their their age and like nothing filled out, no picture. And then I say, hey, what are your stats and picture? And they go, is that necessary? Yeah, it is. Yes, it's necessary yeah. if you want to keep talking to me. If I wanted to blind uh. date, I would blind date, fool. Yeah. <laughs> You want a blind date and go on a blind date. Yes. I hate like, that. I like put on a blindfold and walk around riches. Yeah. <laughs> riches is grabbing dicks. <laughs> grabbing dicks. <laughs> grabbing dicks left and right. That Just, sounds like a great that night. That does actually, actually sound really fun. Yeah. <laughs> you should think of that. Yes. Grabbing dicks. Oh. I'd pay She's 20 like bucks. This. Just walk it in. <laughs> <laughs> God, if I did that, I, I mean, I pretty much, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, hey, how are you? I know that one. Yeah. I know that one. Yeah, you seem familiar. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, what I mean. well. Yeah. Body counts are a thing. Body, Body counts count. are a thing. Yeah. Uh, no, but that is, that is, that is my, I hate that. It's been driving me crazy. Yeah. I, hate I mean, the that. apps in general are just, the, apps the longer just you're on them, the more it's just like. Is it the same for you? Yeah. Uh, no, well, because we talked about this, like yeah. on, on queer women dating apps, it's like the first thing is like, "What's your biggest childhood trauma?" At the first, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's whoa, like, it's like, wow, Jeez. we're gonna unpack like, that it's right like now. In my formative years, my you know, my mother was always really cruel to me. Uh, what do you do for fun? <laughs> 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 on the gay ones, it's like how hog. <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> BB or save. <laughs> no. No, you going to that pump no. and dump or no? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's Eric like, laughs because it's true. No, it's like, it is true. <laughs> yeah, no, and yeah. The, the woman who ones, it's like, you're left on a field alone. It's a windy day. What are your emotions? What do you see? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Take me through it. I want to I yeah. chill, but you're feeling. Yes. God, that's, that's a lot of words to write. So I, show, oh, I, showed you guys, I showed you guys that one that was like 12 in depth oh, personality no. questions. And uh, I was like, I am. I I'm I not about to take the psychopath test for you. Wow. Like, I can't, I can't oh, my God. Do it. God, that's Too insane. Much. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. you guys, that is it for us. Oh, for here, for our live show. Ben's first live hey, well, show. Yeah, that you show. For her night. Yes, yeah. for my night. Oh, I'm your really night. Happy. So, you guys, I we will report on our next episode um, uh, how the rest of the evening. Goes. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm if sure we're still be, standing or not. We're still standing. We got a bottle of Grey sure. Goose over there, gifted to us by the I lovely know. women of She, she Entertainment, Entertainment. Ms. Gina and Kim. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a fun party. I have a feeling. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it will it's going to get crazy. Like, it's thanks, coming together. Yeah, yeah, thanks to AWOL. Thanks to She Entertainment. Yeah, thanks for She Entertainment for having us in AWOL. Thanks for sure. to Starship Pride yeah, for coming Starship on. Pride. Yes. Yeah, all of them. How do people find you, Eric? You can find me on Instagram at Daddy Bear Eric. Mm-hmm. There you go. Bren? You can find me on Instagram at A Real Bryn Mac. <coughs> okay. Why are you staring at me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I, was, I was also going to say under a table tonight. Under a table tonight. 
<laughs> putting dollars oh, in you, the dancer. Yeah. <laughs> you can find me at Sunny underscore baloney underscore macaroni. The show is Who Invited Her underscore podcast on Instagram, where Who Invited Her SD on Twitter and Facebook. Hit the follow button, notification button if you're watching us on YouTube. And give us a five-star rating if you're listening yeah. to us on Apple Podcasts because that helps us out a lot. Oh, you can always email us at thegang at whoinvitedher.net. Go to the website. We have new merchandise. I did a new design. That's Did you Is see it? it? Yes. yes. Yes, it's, it's on official? there. Yeah, Ooh, We have a hoodie ooh, of it launched. and a T-shirt. Oh. I And Firefighters even approved the design. I showed it to him oh, first. Right. He was like, it's cool. Yeah. I want the hoodie. I want the t-shirt. <laughs> mm, I'm going to cut it into cut a it. tank top. I'm going to yes. cut it into a tank top. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I was going to put that. Thank you for reminding me. I'm going to put a tank top on there the website for it, too. Yeah. It's yeah. our. It's a new vamp of our logo. There's Marissa. Look at her. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, someday she'll be on the show. <laughs> someday she'll be on. But you guys, oh, thank you, Firefighter Steven, for running tech for yes. us today in our yeah, live event. Thank you, Steven. <laughs> Steve. And you, you guys, soundboard Steven. Soundboard Steven, that's his name. And on the that ones is and it twos. for us. Yeah, soundboard Steven on the ones and twos. Yeah, we're done. We're <laughs> going to go get fucked up. Bye, guys.